First tonight, we are learning why New Mexico is not going after a share of a huge opioid epidemic settlement with four pharmaceutical companies. Good evening. I'm Kayla Norwood in for Shelley. And I'm Ron Burke in for Doug. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinale talk with our state's attorney general about why. John, what did Hector Balderas have to say? Yeah, Ron, that's right. Earlier today, I sat down with Balderas to understand why the state of New Mexico is not going after that $26 billion settlement. And really what it boils down to is the fact that the state would not get the money it deserves. But Balderas tells me he has a plan in place to make sure New Mexico gets the money it needs. Many are wondering why the state of New Mexico is not going after part of a $26 billion pharmaceutical settlement aimed towards fighting opioid addiction when the state is one of the hardest hit states when it comes to the opioid epidemic. So the deal was not good for us because they wanted to divvy up the pot according to population and that would mean New York and California would get more money rather than investing on the hardest hit communities. But the attorney general for the state of New Mexico, Hector Balderas, has answers. They would give us less than 1% of that 26 billion, and more importantly, they would spread it out over a payment plan for 18 years. That's the most offensive part of the deal. Baldera says New Mexico can do better, which is why he's going after pharmaceutical companies independently. This settlement was only for four companies and they wanted to pay us less than 1%. Uh, we are suing well over 15 companies. We are holding the entire system accountable, uh, which is why we want our day in court. The hearing will take place next September, and Baldera says he's ready to hold Big Pharma accountable. So my number one priority is to get the biggest verdict I can and put all the dollars into treatment prevention and to strengthen our safety net moving forward in the state of New Mexico. And that hearing that you heard Balderas mention, it was originally supposed to happen September 7th of this year, but because of COVID, things got delayed. Reporting live in Albuquerque, I'm John Cardinelli for KOAT Action 7 News. In recent years, Oklahoma filed a similar independent suit against pharmaceutical companies. The state received over $400 million from Johnson & Johnson alone.